Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Ford Bronco Sport in the Big Bend package. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for providing us with this Bronco. Check out the image the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Now under the hood of the Bronco Sport Big Bend, we have a turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 25 around town and then 28 on the highway with power outputs being 181 horsepower and then 190 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the Bronco Sport Big Bend. So first and foremost, I love the lines here on the hood. It kind of reminds me of the little lines they have on the hood of the F-150. And again, if you buy this, please put stripes there. I think that would look really cool. You get these full LED lights, which I love how they look just super retro with the overall look of it. Even though LEDs are a newer concept, just like the overall styling of the lights is super retro. I love how they also did the Bronco lettering in white. Again, kind of like another little retro touch on the Bronco. And then you can see you've got the fog lights just down here at the bottom. Now the air dam does come down pretty low. And so obviously if you need better off-road capability, you go for the real Bronco, but still just like the retro style styling on this. It's absolutely beautiful. Now around the side here, we've got two 25 millimeter tires on 17 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear. And you guys know that 17 inch wheels are the best for off-roading. So obviously you could put a tire that's a little bit more aggressive than what this has from the factory. But back to the wheel, I love the design on the wheel. It kind of has that like off-road type design on it. Just looks really cool in general. And then here's a quick look at, well, at least what we can see of the front suspension on the Bronco Sport. And then these tires, again, you actually do some light off-roading with these, but if you want to do something a little bit more hardcore, then you want to get something a little bit more aggressive than them, but gets the job done, right? And then coming to the side, we've got the Big Bend badge here, which again, you got to flex to everyone that you got the Big Bend. And then I actually really like the molding down here. Again, it gives it kind of like more of like an aggressive off-road look. And other than that, here is your full side view on the Bronco Sport. Now let's actually pop in the back of the Bronco Sport. So first and foremost, the storage space back here is really good. It's actually pretty big. And again, that benefits from the boxy design, especially with like the higher ceiling that you get here in the rear. But you actually get a 12 volt here because remember this is a modern vehicle. And I can't pick this up all the way, but trust me, there's a spare tire underneath there. So that's where the spare tire sits in the Bronco Sport. I love how you get these Bronco Sport floor mats as well. But none of this matters because the most important part is this little thing here. It's a bottle opener. Yes, that's, that's all you need in life, is to be able to open your beer. Yes, you have the old school window there on the back that you can actually open up, which is actually pretty neat because then you could just pop open the window quickly and just like throw stuff back there. Or if you have dogs, you can open this up so they can get a little bit of airflow to the rear. The one thing that's weird about the window is as you guys saw when I opened it up, so like right now it's shut. So you press that button to open it up and like you can grab this little handle right here. I'm pretty sure that's what's meant to open up the window, but like I was an idiot, grab the uh, wiper. So uh, don't be like me, grab the little handle and um, yeah, that's the window. Let's actually go over the rear. So first and foremost, I love the LED taillights. They just look really clean on the Bronco Sport. Again, kind of like retro looking, even though it's LEDs. You've got the Bronco Sport badge right there, again, finished in white. But other than that, again, you just have that cool boxy design, which most modern SUVs just don't have this design. So it just looks really good and different. Now, normally this is where we pop into the back of the Bronco, but I wanted to quickly show you guys another Bronco Sport. This one is also a big bend, but this one's finished in black, so you guys can kind of see what a different color looks like on the Bronco Sport. And yeah, the roof rack might look a little bit better in black than it does on the gray. I don't know, I actually like this one a little bit more with the black coloration. Sorry that it's a little bit dirty. This one just came in here. Obviously this one's been cleaned off. This one has not, but I thought you guys wanted to see a black one and now let's head inside of the Bronco Sport. Now here's the door panel for the Bronco Sport. I really like the door panel. It's got this cool texture here on the side that's just fun to look at. You do get padding where you're actually going to rest your arm. And then coming to the seats, the seats are really different. So you have this texture here at the top of the seat and then you have the cloth there in the center and then you have the cloth here on the side, but then you have the vinyl there on the side and then also in the middle, there's just like a bunch happening with the seats and it's just uh, really different. But let's actually pop in. So step in height. Ooh. 
Not too bad. If you guys are wondering, I'm 5'11", and look how much headroom I have. Again, because this has that boxy design, you have so much more head space and cargo space there in the back. And then you can see legroom's pretty good. <laughs> this is cool that they did the little loops back here. Obviously, they have these in the Wranglers, but yeah, that's so cool to see that. And then you actually get like a zip-up pocket here in the back too. This is so different. I love it. And then you can see there's a couple vents back here. And then you got a little USB down there at the bottom. Pretty normal. And then this pulls down to be some cup holders. Again, pretty normal. It's cool that they did the uh, padding right here because, again, makes it feel a little bit nicer. Now here's the door panel on the front of the Bronco Sports. You can see it is identical to what's in the rear, so you still get a little padding, right? They've got all your window controls, mirror controls, nothing too crazy. You got the door lock and unlock here, so again, like all of this pretty normal setup on most vehicles. And then coming to the seats here at the front, again, you have that really cool cloth at the top, and then you can see you've got the different texture here in the center and then on the sides, and they have a little bit of padding there on the back of the seat itself. They have just super unique look with the seats. They are manually adjusted. And then you can see you've got the pedal layout just here at the bottom. Light controls up here, pretty straightforward on those. The steering wheel is also manually adjustable, but there is one more look before we pop in. Now here's the steering wheel for the Bronco Sports. Cool that you've got little Bronco logo there in the center. And then coming closer to the steering wheel, you can see you've got the controls for the center stack. You got your phone controls, your voice command controls as well. On the other side, you've got your controls for the adaptive cruise control system and you've got your lane keep assist as well. And then you've got the stock for the turn signal on that side and then you've got the stock for the windshield wipers on the other side. But overall, I love the design of the steering wheel and it's cool, again, to see the Bronco horse. Now here's the center gauge cluster. You can see you've got RPMs on the left side. Over on the right side, you've got the speed and I like the overall design of it and how it kind of has like that blue undertone with the RPMs and the speed. Obviously you have the red for the red line, but it's just cool with the blue undertone. And then as for that little center screen, it's just a digital readout and there's nothing too crazy, but I love how they have a calm screen like what they have in the Lincoln. So like if you just don't want anything in the screen, you're like, yeah, it's too much for me. I want it to be uh, nice and blank. You can have that. Um, but basically there's a bunch of different menus you can scroll through gives you information on the safety tech you can see there's a little compass there phone controls all that kind of stuff and this is pretty cool the information on the bronco and so you guys can see all this different stuff you can kind of go through so like tire pressure for example but yeah other than that pretty simple setup it's just uh, looks cool now before we go over the infotainment system, first off, we'll pop it into reverse. You guys can see the backup camera. So Ford has really good backup cameras. Resolution on them is really good. And then you've got the trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then you have the other set of lines that always stay straight to kind of show you where you're going. Bronco has that same camera system. It's just cool that like view out of the bumper. Definitely unique. As for the rest of the infotainment system, it's Ford's newer version of Sync and response time on this system is actually really solid. And so you guys have seen this a bunch of my other reviews. Nothing's different on this system compared to the other ones. It just happens to be in a Bronco. So like that's the coolest part of this infotainment system. And just down below the infotainment system, we've got the analog controls for the radio. You can turn the auto stop start off if you don't like it and you get your regular stop start button. And then we do have our climate controls just down here. It is a single zone climate, but this is actually actually a pretty small SUV so it's not like you really need a dual zone climate and then we've got a couple USBs and a 12 volts and then the storage space here it's cool that it's really grippy so like your phone's not going to slide around I have an issue in my Supra where my phone always slides around so I would really appreciate something like this in a car so my phone just stays in place and then here is the shifter for the transmission pretty straightforward you get your park reverse neutral and then drive it is a dial shifter and then your low range as well really easy to use and then you have your parking brake right behind it and then this is for your auto hold and yes we have the goat modes i'm sure you guys are wondering why it says goat instead of drive mode select it means go over any type of terrain but uh i like how it's goat because obviously mountain goats they're really good at climbing stuff but anyways Let's go over the uh, drive modes here. So you've got your eco, and then you've got your normal, and then you've got this sand mode, and then on the other side, you've got the sport mode, and then the slippery mode. Pretty straightforward, you shift the dial from one side to the other, depending on what mode you want to be in. I love how the normal mode is a Bronco. I think that's so cool that they actually went and made it into the Bronco logo. Now I've got the center console here with the blacked out stitching, just feels really nice to the touch. Now, storage space in here is pretty good. You got a little 12 volt and then you've got those little thread throughs for the cables. And then coming over here, 
We can see we've got a pretty normal glove box. Up above the glove box, you got the same texture that's on the door, so it just looks really cool. Hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about with that texture, definitely unique. And here is the sunglass holder up top, and then just look how much headroom there is up here. I'm pretty sure that you could be like mid six foot range, maybe even a little bit taller and you'd still be able to fit up here really comfortably because like I'm sitting up straight and me sitting up straight, I almost have like another at least six inches to maybe even like eight to 10 inches of room left above my head. So like headroom in here is just insane. Now that we're done going over the interior on the Bronco Sport, let's quickly get into pricing. So in terms of pricing, this Bronco Sport in the Big Bend package, stickers for about $30,000 before any type of market adjustment, which I mean, for all of the safety tech this has and the fact that it looks as cool as it looks for being at the price point that it's at, I think it's a really solid deal. That all being said though, let's take this Bronco Sport out and see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off here on the Bronco Sport. So you can see visibility over the hood. It's actually really easy to see out of. Now it is a little bit of a longer hood. However, it just like abruptly ends because this is a super boxy design. So it's actually pretty neat. And then there's your visibility through both the mirrors and they do have blind spot monitoring. Here's your visibility all throughout the rear. And again, that boxy design makes visibility really good because you get a bunch of really large windows. And that all being said, let's set off. Well, we are initially sitting off here in this Bronco Sport Big Bend, and I'm actually pretty excited. We're gonna dub this the uh, Baby Bronco, if you guys don't understand. Well, we've got the uh, Raptor, and then we have the Baby Raptor that works here at Ford and Provo, AKA John Jenks. But initially setting off, I really like the feeling of the steering. It's actually, it's really cool. So. It, it kind of has like a really like almost like an old school feel to it. The steering wheel definitely feels on the smaller side, um, but it just has this like lightweight, almost like zippy feel to it. And I really like that. Um, but in terms of the ride quality, it's really smooth initially. And then even though this is a boxier vehicle, you don't get a lot of wind noise into the cabin and the brakes. Yeah, brakes work really well. So far, this is actually way more impressive than I expected it to be. I thought that I was just gonna bag on it because it's not a real Bronco but it's actually doing a really good job. Yeah, that steering is so nice. Like I could just imagine actually taking this off road and you'd be able to maneuver really just, it's be so effortless just because of how easy the steering is. And there's not a lot of body roll either for an SUV. Like, gosh, I'm, I'm impressed with this. Ford did a really good job with this Bronco Sport. I am really impressed. Now we're gonna pop it over into the sport mode. Yay, we get a green light for the first time in forever. And we'll see how the acceleration is. I'm interested to see what the two liter is like. Um, this is more than enough power for the size of SUV it is. Obviously I had to ring it out just to get up to speed. So it's not crazy, it's just adequate. I am really interested to see what that two liter is like because I think that that's gonna be a lot quicker than this um, just by what they have posted for the power figures. Yeah, that steering is amazing. This has to have like the best steering for an SUV in this segment, just hands down. It feels so nice. I, it's, it's hard to explain. It just feels so nice. Pop it back over into the Bronco mode, even though that's just the normal mode. But let's actually get into some of the things up here with this Bronco Sport. So if you're looking for a regular SUV, believe it or not, this again, has all the normal safety tech. It's got good fuel economy. It's got really good space, but you want something that looks super unique and super cool. That's where this Bronco Sport's really gonna shine. So instead of getting like a boring car, like a Honda CRV or a Toyota RAV4, or Jeep Cherokee, something that's, I, I shouldn't say boring, but yeah, really, something that's normal looking, just like any other SUV, you get this, which looks really cool, has all of the same usability as those other ones. So you're really not giving, you're just, you're getting it, you're not really giving anything. You get like this really cool looking SUV that's actually pretty capable, has all the same modern safety tech and everything. And on top of that, it's like you have the Bronco heritage, everything like this is so cool. 
I was not expecting the Bronco Sport to be this good. So I, I hope that that explains the vehicle to you guys. This thing's awesome. Now that is gonna sum things up for our video on this 2021 Ford Bronco Sport in the Big Bend package. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for providing us with this Bronco. Check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.